Hey there, you filthy animals. Mr. Dirty back with another episode of the GTM Show. And today we got Checkers back on the show again. Maybe rallies where you live. Uh, once again, they've been screwing around with their steak burger sandwiches. And by steak burger, I don't mean like what you would find at, say, Steak and Shake, where the uh, the burger patties are made from steak, or maybe even like Burger Fi, where they're throwing like the finest uh, prize cows into a, a grinder and making burgers out of that. Nothing like that. No, no, no. I'm talking about the uh, Checker Steak Burger, where they basically take like steakums or like a uh, cheesesteak type meat and put that on top of the burger. Now, we've already seen this a couple times from Checkers in the past, where it usually starts off with their steak burgers, where they, like the, when they first bring these promos out, we're dealing with like good cheesesteak meat. And then about a week into the promos, we're dealing with like really fatty, chewy, grisly type of steak. Now, they've had steak burgers on the menu. Uh, for the past couple months, but it was like the A1 steak burger. First it was like steak burger, then the A1 steak burger. Now it's the peppercorn steak burger. This comes in two versions. One version has a uh, bacon on it and one doesn't. We asked for the one that doesn't have it on there, although I did see them in the back making one that had bacon. I don't think it was mine though. That might've gone out the drive through window as we went to the, uh, the walk-up window. I also do not have a price on this, but I, I, what I do know is that the combo with fries, it's a medium fries and a medium drink, came to $5.34 with tax. So a pretty big medium-sized soda this came with. I mean, in my opinion, that's like a large. But uh, they're calling that a medium. And bam, one medium fry. In this foil wrapper is our peppercorn steak burger. As you can see by the size of my hand, I'm basically palming this thing. It's not very big, to be honest with you. All right, let's unwrap this and see what we got. All right, before I go showing this to you, they're describing this as 100% uh, beef and shredded steak, topped it off with Swiss cheese, creamy peppercorn sauce, and crispy onion tanglers served on a toasted Kaiser bun. And this thing reeks of onions right now. And bam, there you go. There's your peppercorn steak burger from Checkers or Rallies where you live. If we lift this lid back real quick, did you see our Kaiser bun going on there? It's got like a cornmeal dusting on there. Those are not seeds. Inside, automatically, we see our onion tanglers, as they're calling them, and our melted Swiss cheese. You can see some of that peppercorn sauce going across the top there, I do believe, also. There's our burger patty. There's our burger patty down there. Uh, cheese is melted out, so we really can't see if there's anything going on in between the cheese and the burger patty, but yeah. I'll be honest, I'm digging through here. I really don't see... Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. There's our, our steak meat. It is mixed in with the onion tanglers and the cheese. It's hard to spot, but it's there. All right, I got this all reassembled down the hatch. I don't think I'm getting it. Let me go in for uh, another couple snaps at this. All right, I got what's going on here. Um, the steak... And the burger itself, they just kind of like in the chew, once you bite it and you start chewing it up, it all just kind of mashes up into just meat. So the steak doesn't stand out on its own with the exception of texture, as there is that chewy, fatty, grisly kind of thing going on with this cheap steak meat that they're using. And that's the only way that that really stands out from the burger meat, because the burger meat doesn't have that. It's ground. But otherwise, in flavor, you wouldn't know it was there. Now the peppercorn sauce... You really can't even tell that that's there either, um, in texture-wise, at least. In flavor, you get that in, like, an aftertaste. This is like a smoky kind of, like, black pepper kind of thing going on in the back of your throat. But during the chew, you don't get that at all. Once again, that just fades in. The dominating flavor here, those onion tanglers, to be honest with you, they've got a real standout flavor. And also, right now on the menu, they not only do they have, like, the fish stuff going on on the menu, they've also got shrimp going on on the menu. And it seems like they're deep frying everything in the same oil. So the onion tanglers, and I also noticed this on the french fries, they have a bit of a fishy flavor to them from the shrimp and the fish sandwiches going in the same oil. And that's adding itself to strengthening the deep fried flavor and the overall flavor of these onion tanglers. It's just overriding the whole thing. Um, I can't see myself buying this again. But overall, it's not an offensive sandwich. It's not bad. Um, I wouldn't snub it if somebody offered me a free one. So I'm going to give this a solid 3 out of 5. So like I say, it's not disgusting. But yeah, there's tons of room for improvement here. As we're already starting off with kind of like low quality. So yeah, the only way to go from here is up. I guess it could go down if they put shredded lettuce on there. But thank God they didn't. So there you have it, the peppercorn steak burger, new at Checkers Rallies. Give it a try. 
uh, especially now, I'm sure that at the $5 and whatever change that we paid for the combo, they probably have these things on like a two for a five deal, something like that. So right now the value is all right if you just want to, uh, you know, take a swing at it. I'm Mr. Dirty. It's the DTM. So don't forget you can buy these knucklehead shirts and hoodies down in the description. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the real Mr. Dirty. As always, get out of here and go have a rotten day.